I no longer use the F12 key. Nobody uses the F12 key. Get out of here. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Lovely keycaps. I'm a fan. So I've ended up getting a new set of keycaps for this Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard. It is just amazing. I do love it a lot. This has the Razer Red switches. They are linear. They're not really clicky. They're pretty silent. So if you're a streamer, this is probably a pretty decent setup to be rocking. Also, if you're like a competitive esports person, these switches are, of course, the crazy Razer linear ones. So they're going to be pretty damn good for gaming let's be honest i ended up keeping the razor logo keycap right here it's of course changing colors and all it's just pretty cool if only this would match the design of these keycaps that would be like the cherry on top because every other keycap on this keyboard is the same and these are i don't even know if they're double shot pbt or anything they don't feel nowhere near as nice as the razor double shot pbt keycaps that we have over here so we got, you know, the space bar, we got all these, all these buttons that were on the keyboard, but ended up taking all of these off and just, uh, you know, replacing them with these fancy RGB ones that you can kind of see through. And at nighttime, obviously the RGB lighting effects are just absolutely beautiful. Like, look at this thing, man. Just look at it. I've ended up picking up another gadget for this keyboard setup. You know, this whole setup in general. We now have a USB volume wheel that unfortunately isn't RGB. Very sad, very heartbreaking, but it is still a volume wheel nevertheless. It's one of the cheaper ones on Amazon, but it's definitely one of the nicer ones out there, in my opinion. For £20, that's how much this bad boy costs. It might cost different in your country. Link in description down below, of course, to this lovely set of keycaps. As I bought these on Amazon, they're not from HyperX or anything. I don't have a clue what brand makes these keycaps, but they're definitely not as high quality as the double shot PBT keycaps that came with the keyboard, but we do get more RGB and you know, I wouldn't say the quality is by any way terrible with these keycaps. If I'd have to give these keycaps a rating, then I'd probably give these like, I don't know, like a seven or like an eight. These are like 9.5. This is like a 7 or an 8 out of 10 in terms of keycap quality. But then again, that is just my opinion. Obviously, like your keyboard preference and like the kind of keycaps you want, the look you're going for is going to be different from mine. I really wanted to try out these, you know, see-through keycaps or at least partially see-through keycaps. One thing that I've noticed specifically about the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition right here is that the LEDs, let me show you where they are actually just by like ripping off this keycap right here. So, you know, we've got the Razer linear red switches right here. Oh my God, these are beautiful. I love them. But as you can see, the RGB LED, right? This thing right here that's changing colors and all, this is, you know, it's here. It's not there. So if only we had like double RGB lighting, maybe that's the next thing we need. Double LEDs per keycap. I don't know if that's the right way to be going. But basically that would resolve this issue in terms of RGB lighting. Do we really need double LEDs per keycap? I don't know if uh, companies would go as far as to do that. I don't know how expensive that would be, how much cost that would add to a keyboard, but that would of course make all of this bottom row light up and you know be all RGB and everything. But I suppose not everything in life has to be RGB or at least like 100% keyboard. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just talking about RGB and all. But uh, yeah, keycaps. This keyboard keycap set as well. I got like a, I think this is a UK layout. I don't even know what the hell I got, man. It might be like partially UK. Uh, is there a pound sign? How do you, this, uh, we got dollars. I did have one problem with these keycaps and that was only with this backspace key. Although now it seems to have fixed itself, but earlier it would kind of get stuck as I would like press it all the way down. It wouldn't feel like a smooth motion. And I'm not sure if that's because of the keycap that I bought or is it because I broke something on the keyboard whilst replacing the keycaps, you know, maybe I did that, but at the same time, these aren't really like mega expensive and they don't feel, you know, the highest of quality, like the Razer textured double shot PBT keycaps genuinely do feel nicer in terms of just the keycap quality. They're textured, man, these are lovely. Whereas the keys on this keyboard, wow, check out this angle right here. Beautiful, this is why you want the see-through keycaps, man. That looks so sick. These are double shot PBT. This was a very simple process to, you know, swap all the keys for the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition. The keycap set that I bought is the full-size set for like a full-size keyboard as I went from a Huntsman Elite 
to this. So I could technically uh, reuse all of these double shot shine through keycaps. If I ever wanted to go back to the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, you know, absolutely could. I'll just take all the keycaps off of this one and I've got all the extra ones that I would need for the full size, you know, 108 button keyboard layout or however many buttons there are, you know. So I've basically ended up with just a bunch of spare keys that are pretty much just gonna go onto your numpad. But they did come with a bunch of different sized uh, enter keys. So the enter keys come in multiple different shapes and they show you that on Amazon very clearly that this comes with a bunch of extra keys, even volume keys. So we got mute, which actually works. We've got volume down, volume up. You can hold it, of course, and it's gonna increase and decrease your volume real quick. What's gonna happen if we hold mute? It's gonna kind of spaz out. That's that's what's gonna happen then. Uh, I've still kept my print screen key, so we can still use that. And I've done all this just by reprogramming all the keys within Razer Synapse. And you can see I've even reprogrammed F6, F7, and F8 to actually act as multimedia buttons. So F6 is previous track, F7 is play pause, and F8 is next track. The fact that you can reprogram literally any key on this keyboard and make it do anything you want really is a very nice feature and all keyboards need to have this because keys like F6, F7 and F8, personally, I never use, I never press those buttons because I don't know what they do. So I've just kind of reprogrammed them to be multimedia keys and now I've been using those buttons. I'm putting those buttons, these keys to use and you should as well. If you have a Razer keyboard, reprogram F6, F7 and F8 or reprogram, you know, whatever buttons you want, up to you. But even the volume buttons, man, you can add volume buttons and reprogram everything. This is a cool keycap set. If only it came with previous track, next track, and play pause keycaps, that would have been absolutely amazing. If any of you know where I could pick up some double shot shine through multimedia keycaps, please let me know because I would actually really love to replace F6, F7, and F8 with proper multimedia keycaps that look, you know, identical to all of these because I don't want to be mixing and matching keycaps too much. I've already began doing it here with this Razer Escape button. Also for everyone wondering where the hell did I get this Razer keycap from? It actually came with my Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard. It came with that one and I've just, you know, I've been using it ever since, man. I've been using it ever since. How sick is it to have a volume wheel? If you've ever had a volume wheel on your keyboard or a volume dial of any sorts, I'm sure you used it and you probably loved using it. And so did I. I used to use the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard that had a volume dial and it was reprogrammable, which is something that this volume dial unfortunately doesn't have as a feature. Razer needs to release like a USB volume dial like this, make it RGB or, you know, just make it cool, man. Someone needs to make an RGB volume dial because this one, no, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool volume dial and all that, don't get me wrong. However, it doesn't have RGB, but that's not actually the main problem. Uh, the main problem is that, that it's not reprogrammable. This volume dial, I would recommend a lot more if it had like some kind of software, you know, just any kind of basic software. Just let me control the dial and you know what it does. Like if we're going counterclockwise, I wanna be able to reprogram that. If, we, if we're going clockwise, I wanna be able to reprogram that too. But this dial has a few more features up its sleeve that you would never expect, apart from maybe this one. So if you press down on the dial, you're gonna notice right here, oh, take a look, oh, it's gone, it's gone. We have muted, oh no, we haven't. If we press it again, boom, we have now muted it. Pretty cool stuff, dude. So you can, of course, mute audio. You can go down in audio, you can go up, pretty damn nice. On top of that, this dial technically has like multimedia controls as well, in terms of you can skip songs, and you can go back songs. Uh, so, you know, previous track, next track is integrated into this dial and you might be like, what mate, how do you do that? Well, you're gonna press down on it and then you're gonna just twist counterclockwise, you know, however many times and this is just gonna start skipping songs for you. Check that out. Like I'm legit just twisting a dial and it's skipping songs, lad, how sick is that? But yeah, it's all possible. It's a pretty cool dial, man. Link in the description, of course. You can buy it on Amazon. There's a bunch of different ones on Amazon that you can find. I'm low-key considering buying like all four or five uh, of these different volume wheels that are all USB powered and just buying all of them and then making like the ultimate USB volume wheel comparison video because who doesn't love a volume wheel? How sick is this, man? Like, it's just such a nice way to increase and decrease volume or when you're using your PC or when you're listening to music, playing games, whatever you're doing, man, you want a volume wheel and you definitely want an Elgato Stream Deck and more RGB. 
just buy everything. We have upgraded the setup a little bit more, man. We've added a bit more RGB. I'm very happy with the way the setup's come along, especially now that like this keyboard has double shot shine through PBT keycaps, lad. It's all I ever wanted, apart from the part where the, the keycaps, they're not as nice feeling as the Razer ones. And that's because I think the Razer ones, their textured, Razer textured, their double shot PBT keycaps, but whoever, whoever made these didn't texture them, so they don't feel as like premium. But then again, that's probably down to personal preference. Maybe you don't want textured keycaps and you'd be pretty damn happy with these. They're pretty cheap, pretty nice little upgrade. I would recommend them. The F12 key, nobody uses the F12 key, get out of here. I no longer use the F12 key, nobody uses the F12 key, get out of here. But yeah, pretty cool stuff, lovely keycaps, I'm a fan.